Welcome to our first edition of InterGeo TV in 2016. InterGeo TV news channel for the geospatial community will be from now broadcasted by internet on a special online platform, intergeo-tv.com. InterGeo TV is a continuous development of the product with the same name that was produced in its previous format every year at the InterGeo trade fair and conference. Now InterGeo TV will produce throughout the year. From the 11th to the 13th of October 2016, InterGeo, the world's largest geospatial event, will take place in Hamburg with over 550 expected exhibitors. New topics such as smart geodata, smart cities, geospatial 4.0, Big Data or GeoBIM, Digital Building, expand the range of InterGeo and invite you to join in. Experts are currently meeting here in Hamburg to discuss the hot topics for InterGeo 2016. Amongst other things, the focus will be on the further development of cities and regions along the lines of smart cities. I met the people taking part in the interview preview and asked them about the key geopolitical topics for the future and of course smart cities. Ich würde mir wünschen in einer smart city zu leben, in der die Digitalisierung maßvoll und sehr bewusst Einzug gehalten hat. Ähm, insbesondere ähm, wäre es mir wichtig, dass frühzeitig durchdacht äh, wurde, dass ähm, die menschliche Vernunft, das Menschliche als solches und unsere Lebenswelt nicht durch das Technische dominiert wird. You know, we are uh, delivering first of all the technology uh, to help cities becoming smarter. That uh, starts with devices, hardware basically, which collecting data. That goes to um, web services. Um, so somebody needs to host the data, select the right data and provide the right information in the end. But we also provide the consulting that cities can implement those systems much faster and quicker and easier. Geodesy, data capture and land management are becoming increasingly important in the digitized construction industry. A team from InterGeo TV accompanied Federal Minister of Transport and Digital Infrastructure Alexander Dobrindt and a number of international industry experts at the world's largest construction trade fair, Bauma in Munich. Amongst other things, we were keen to establish what role geodata management plays at the Ministry. Here's our news report with a clear political response. 3,423 exhibitors from 58 countries, approximately 580,000 visitors from 200 countries. The figures of this 31st edition of Bauma, the world's leading trade fair for constructions, are impressive. Bauma 2016 has once again shown everyone that it does boost innovation as well, e.g. the topic of digital design and construction, better known as BIM, Building Information Modeling. BIM must become standard for construction projects in Germany, told us Alexander Dobrindt, the country's Federal Minister of Transport and Digital Infrastructure. We have with BIM the right trend mit gesetzt. Das erkennt man hier, wenn man auf der Bauma unterwegs ist. Alle sind im Bereich der Digitalisierung extrem unterwegs. Die Innovationen, die man hier sieht, dass das, was in den nächsten Wochen, Monaten dann ja auch auf der Straße im Baubereich zu erkennen sein wird, umgesetzt wird. Und von daher ist unser Weg mit BIM Pilotprojekte aufzusetzen, dafür zu sorgen, dass die Digitalisierung, Building Information Modeling auch Standard wird in allen Baumaßnahmen, dass dieser Weg sich hier bestätigt hat, das sieht man eindeutig. BIM is also an important topic at Intergeo Trade Fair and Conference that takes place in Hamburg from the 11th to the 13th of October of this year. The minister made in the interview with Intergeo TV clear that collecting of data is essential and valuable for BIM projects. Ja, wir haben äh, bei BIM ja auch eine ständige Weiterentwicklung. Das, was wir heute schon können, ist äh, ja in den fünf Dimensionen dann auch Großprojekte mit abzuwickeln, äh, mit äh, einem hohen Maß an Kosteneffizienz, an Zeiteffizienz und natürlich äh, risikoarm. Und äh, jetzt kann man das immer ein Stück weiter noch entwickeln. Geodaten spielen da für die Zukunft mit die äh, große Rolle. Das ist gerade in der Vorbereitung dann auch äh, und in der Abwicklung von Projekten ein bedeutendes neues Element. Ich setze darauf, dass wir auch da sehr schnell in Pilotprojekten zeigen, können, welche Wirkung dieses Element zusätzlich hat. Germany has a strong reputation for innovation. 
Therefore, BIM will be introduced with a three-phase action plan for projects. For Topcon Positioning Systems, a company that was exhibitor at Bauma 2016 with its construction department, BIM is a very important issue, as CEO Ray O'Connor said in the GeoTV. That the whole theme is about workflow and solutions, not just about products, but complete workflows, all the way from survey, through execution, through inspection. And we've been preaching that for a long time, but now it's really becoming reality, as you see the connection of the instrumentation and the software going together as one. And the deliverable that we have to give to an owner at the end of the day is a 3D dynamic model of the project that has been completed for the owner so that they not only have the completed project, but they can maintain and manage that asset for tens of decades and a hundred years if necessary into the future. By reducing mistakes in the planning stage of projects, BIM can have a significant impact on costs that Joaquin Diaz from the University of Applied Sciences at Gießen. In any case, BIM will be one of the leading topics at Intergeo 2016 in Hamburg. Intergeo TV will keep you informed in our special channel here on intergeo-tv.com. Any company that wants to be successful nowadays needs highly qualified stuff. But where can I find them? The market is more competitive than ever before. Intergeo TV career is the perfect matchmaker. Optimum solutions and the perfect service. Two essential requirements for keeping geo-industry customers happy. Our solutions service section highlights the latest trends and developments. The geo community's top decision makers are showing the way and heading in new directions. We meet the industry leaders in our opinion leader talk. That was Intergeo TV for today. All the latest news and topics are available here at intergeo-tv.com. You should also take a look at our new sub-channels. See you again in a month's time for our next edition. And don't forget to join us here in October at Intergeo in our beautiful smart city, Hamburg. See you there. Bye.